Hi again, welcome back to my YouTube channel, The Guru Chronicles. Please do watch my very short welcome video. So today I'm going to be discussing how to create a lesson on Google Slides. This is an interactive lesson using Pear Deck. So the first thing you need to do is to install Pear Deck on your Google Slide. So go to Add-ons, get Add-ons, and you should be able to see this Pear Deck for Google Slide. If you don't see it, you can just type it in here. Okay, so just click on this one. And this bar here, since I have installed it already, if it's your first time to install it, it should say here install and the blue bar will show up. Okay, so that's it. Now, this is a sample regular, regular slide. If you want to present this slide using the Pear Deck, click on add-ons, click Pear Deck for Google Slides, and then open Pear Deck app. Now, let's just browse through some of the features. Um, in every slide you have, you can insert uh, questions and they'll be able to answer it on their end. So you can have multiple choice. You can insert website. You can let them draw on the worksheets that you are presenting. You can um, insert draggable items on your slide. So you'll know if your slide is something that the student will have to interact with because you have the slide icon. So once you start your lesson, okay, it will prompt you to choose if it's student paced or instructor paced. If it's student paced, they can have access um, to the slides any um, to any of the slides anytime they want. But if it's instructor paced, you only have control. The teacher has control over what slide should be presented at the moment. So let's try instructor paste. It will give you a code that you will have to give to your students. So for the sake of this tutorial, let me just show you how the students can log in to your slide presentation. So. The students will go to joinpd.com. Let's type that one. Joinpd.com. And they will have to enter the code. So let me just split my computer. So this is the window splitter. I have a video on this one, the Google extension that you can install. So you can split your your um, so this one is how it looks like on the student's computer. So the code is XNFQQ. XNFQQ. This is always the welcome picture for for when they enter the joint PD. Once one or two students have logged in, you can you may now start your class. Okay. So as you can see, the students cannot move forward or backward with the presentation only when the teacher does that will change their slide so if i let me try to okay there you go so it just follows through on the students end this is how it will look like they will have to type their answers here so let me just try it what is your most memorable experience in third grade when I fell down from the slide. So, as the student typed their answers, um, the teacher can actually see all the students' responses real time. So, if you want to show the students' responses, click on this one, show responses. So, as you can see, this is what I've typed earlier on the students' tab. So all their responses will appear here and you can of course show this or share this 
window in your Google Meet. If you want to hide the responses, you can click on this again. Okay, so that's how it is. Now, let me just show you another one that I made. Okay, so the first one was like an open-ended question. Now, this one is a multiple choice question. So this was my original slide. So if you go to the Pear Deck features on the right side, you will see here multiple choice. Click on here and it will just prompt you to put your choices. So for this slide, I have put 2, 10, and 4 as choices and then update slide. Okay, And it will automatically be embedded on this particular slide. Let me show you this student's um, care deck. So this is how it looks like on their end. How many cores do you think? Let's say four. Okay. Now on your presentation, you can check their responses. You can see how many answered four, how many answered 10, and how many answered two. And then along the way, you can discuss their responses. So it's like a formative assessment. Okay. Now let me just show you another one. Let's look at the one with the matching. The pair deck feature I have embedded is draw. Okay. Once you embed this feature, it will just automatically set this in a way that the students can draw on it. So look, this is just an image I have um, copied and paste on this slide. And then on the student's end, they can draw on it. So they can choose which color they want. Um, could be line, highlighter, or a pencil. Let's try line to make it straight. So 431, this is like matching. So all they have to do is click on this. 431, where it could be 431. Okay, so it's matching 431. Let me try another color. Seven minutes past eight. Okay, here you go. So seven minutes past eight. Seven, eight. On your presentation, it will look like this. There you go. And when you when you scroll down, you will see all their responses. So at this time, you can now give your feedback to your students. Now, always remember a slide presentation using Pear Deck can be presented live if it is if the file is saved on your drive if your file is saved in shared drives there's no way you can present it using pair deck okay that is also a i think a security or privacy uh, matter so that's how you do it thank you very much and stay tuned for more virtual tips and hacks Thank you and have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. So subscribe na po kayo para sabay sabay tayo matuto ng kung ano ang